All right, spinners and sharks, you've played the games, earned your points, and picked out your dates. Now, the only question left is, how does the group get their room together? Stand by, and we'll hook you up. Is the ace of Vegas, the ace of Vegas. Before we get started, I just wanted to give a quick shout out to our Patreon members for helping the channel grow. More on that later. Hey there, spinners and sharks, Ace of Vegas here, and I hope you're doing well. So check it out, the most common question that I get on this channel is, how can you redeem multiple comp nights with my Vegas? And the answer is, you can't. Thanks for watching. Okay, okay, fine. There is one way you can do it. But before we get into that, let me do a brief explanation of the one night comp reward from my Vegas. If you already know about them, skip ahead to the timestamp on the screen for the actual process. Sounds fair? Great. Explanation incoming. The My Vegas Comp Night reward is easily the most commonly used reward in the My Vegas series of games. It's pretty simple. Exchange a few loyalty points and you get 100% of your room rate comped. You as the guest are still responsible for taxes and fees, but that's it. Basically, if you have a $400 room plus resort fee at Bellagio, you only pay $51 for taxes and fees, saving you a few hundred dollars a night. But, there are a few catches to this. Catch number one, these rooms are only available for certain days and dates. Traditionally, they're Sunday through Thursday rewards, so you won't get to stay there for free on the weekends, usually. There are the rare exceptions to this rule in the low season like January, December, and after Thanksgiving, but for the most part, these rewards are only good for midweek stays. Catch number two, you're limited to one comp room reward per player per trip. There has to be at least a week between bookings, and you can't repeat a room within 30 days either. To simplify that, basically if you redeem a one night room reward at Park MGM, you can't redeem another comp room reward for at least a week. Additionally, this counts towards one of your three premium rewards that you get as a My Vegas player. So if you have any other two premium rewards, you won't be using comp rooms for another 30 days. And even if you don't, you can't have another one night comp reward for Park MGM for at least 30 days. Now that you have those limitations in mind, let me show you how to sneak around it and exploit the system. First things first, you're going to need a certain set of materials to pull this off. It has to be like this, no workarounds for the workarounds. You need two people over the age of 21. You need two My Vegas accounts with enough loyalty points to get room comps. You both need at least free MGM reward accounts. And of course, you're going to need a phone to contact the hotel. You got those? Great. Let's go step by step. Step 1. Play My Vegas and its related games enough to earn loyalty points to get a room. If you want to know how you can speed this process up, check out my How to Get More My Vegas Loyalty Points video in the upper right hand corner of the screen. Step 2. This step is technically a bridge step, but make sure you've signed up for MGM Rewards Club cards. Not only will this allow you to use My Vegas comps, it also gets you exclusive deals, discounts, and offers at all other MGM properties. Make your life easy and sign up for the rewards cards in advance. If you and your travel companion already have MGM rewards cards, you can skip over to step 3. Step 3. Once you've earned enough points, go to the rewards section of the game. Here you can pick the appropriate hotel and hotel reward. Enter your name and email address to confirm and exchange your points. Be sure to use the same email address from step 2 that you used for your MGM rewards card, or else this step will not work. Step 4. Search your email for the reward redemption email. Enclose this a link to the MGM rewards website, where you'll book your stay. Click on it to go to the booking page and sign into your MGM rewards account. Step 5. Now you can pick out your dates, the room type, and enter your personal information to confirm the booking. If you're traveling with two people, be sure to get consecutive dates. You, for example, would get Sunday the 15th, and your partner would get Monday the 16th. This creates what's called back-to-back -back reservations, which makes it easier for the front desk to combine the stays. From there, you'll both get emails with your specific dates in mind, along with confirmation numbers for the bookings. You'll need those for the next step. Step 6. Call in to combine your bookings. You'll need to call the special number presented on the screen for the booking, then follow the prompts. Number 1, number 1, and once again, number 1, to speed run through. Call 
may be recorded for quality purposes. Information you provide during this call and the purposes for which it may be used are subject to our privacy policy. Available at mgmresorts.com. Once you get an agent, tell them that you want to combine your reservations. They'll confirm your personal information and the reservation number before notating the account. Step 7. Ignore the mobile check-in. When it's time for your visit, go to the hotel check-in line like normal. Otherwise, they won't be able to combine your reservations and you'll have to check in and out repeatedly during the stay. The agent will roll together you and your travel partner's room so that they'll be combined and you won't have to pack up. Step 8. Once you're checked in, enjoy your My Vegas vacation hassle-free. And that's it, you guys have a way to combine rooms. You can also use this method to combine discounted room rates with my Vegas rewards and MGM rewards as well. I'll usually use my MGM rewards to supplement my My Vegas comp, but if Wonder Woman's coming, I'll have her redeem a room reward as well, making for three or four night comps simple and clean. Hopefully that helps and takes some of the stress out of your Las Vegas vacation planning. Okay then, Spinners and Sharks, that's it for today's video. If you enjoyed today's tutorial and found it informative, I'd appreciate a like, and consider subscribing if you haven't already. Before I go, I just wanted to take a moment to shout out our patrons. Guys, it means the world to me that you choose to support me in this way and help keep Ace of Vegas independent of the YouTube algorithm. As you know, my content isn't always censor and advertiser friendly, so it goes a long way in keeping the channel running. If you want a more direct hand in keeping Ace of Vegas growing, I'll leave a link to the Patreon in the description box down below. In the meantime, how was that tutorial? Do you have better tips and tricks for combining rooms, or have you used this technique with success? Whatever your thoughts may be, I'd love to hear them in the comment section down below. Until next time guys, this is Ace of Vegas signing out, wishing you strong hands, and of course, happy spinning you guys. Viva Ace of Vegas. Viva Ace of Vegas. Viva Ace of Vegas. Viva Ace of Vegas.